We hate to feel pain. I mean, that is just part of human nature. But but I'm going to kind of change your perspective a little bit here, inshallah. And that is look at a person who goes to the gym, right? A person who wants to get in shape, a person who wants to build muscle. My question to you is what do they do, right? If someone wants to get strong, do they sit on the couch and get comfortable? Uh, or do they have to go to the gym and lift weight, right? And so we understand this concept in the physical world that in order to get stronger, in order to get fit, you have to actually do work. You have to actually struggle a bit. Yeah, you have to actually lift weight. If I tell a personal trainer, hey, um, I want to be in shape, right? I want to be strong. I want to be fit. That trainer isn't going to tell you how to sit on the couch. That trainer is not going to get you comfortable. In fact, any and anyone who's 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 gone to a trainer knows it's not comfortable. It's not um, it's not necessarily going to be something that's easy. Right. In fact, it is it involves some struggle and it may involve some literal pain. Right. No pain, no gain. Now, that pain of lifting and the pain that anyone who goes to the gym knows that comes after is part of the process. It's part of the process of what, you know, you never see if you told your trainer, I want to be strong and I want to be fit. Right. And then your trainer says, OK, here's how you're going to do it. This is what you're going to do. This is your regimen. You see the, that weight over there? You're going to have to pick it. You're going to have to lift it. No, but it hurts. But you're going to have to do it. That's how you're going to get fit. That's how you're going to get strong. You're not going to go and get angry at the trainer and say, why would you do this to me? How could you make me go to the gym or how could you make me lift that weight? How could you make me do resistance training? How could you do this? And you're not going to get angry because you know that there's a purpose. You know that this, this, this period of pain, this period of struggle is for a purpose. And that purpose is to make you stronger. And that purpose is to, is to develop you, literally to grow you. And it's exactly the same thing with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the pain that we experience in life. But we have to respond in the right way in order for it to grow us, in order for it to make us stronger. We have to respond in the right way because just like at the gym, if you do it wrong, you can injure yourself. And in fact, you can really, really hurt yourself, right? It's the same thing that if we don't respond properly, if we don't understand um, how to deal with the pain, if we don't understand how to respond to the broken heart, then we can actually suffer greatly. And that's why it's so important that we learn these tools and we have the right concepts and we respond properly. So what I do in this course is I talk about, you know, kind of the whole spectrum, right? From understanding the concept of attachments because it's all connected, right? The the pain that we feel is connected to the type of attachments that we have. When you have an unhealthy attachment, for example, and inshallah, I, I talk about this more in depth, obviously in, in the course. I'll also be touching upon this topic in in, in uh, part of this series, inshallah, in upcoming um, you know, uh, courses in this series. But when you have an unhealthy attachment, it affects the type of pain that you experience.